Good morning, everybody. Paul Warostek here, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, waking up with Folgers in my cup. No, it's lemon water and honey. Good news. Great news energy update. Don't believe all the hype. Okay. I'm setting it straight. I feel this incredible calm, this incredible centeredness to where everything that's going on out there could really be messing with people's heads. And I wanted to share this message before I get on with my day. There's a lot of darkness out there. And a lot of it may not be where you think it is. Now, there, you know, I did a video not too long ago about spiritual bullying. And sure enough, as soon as I put that out, you know, I was experiencing it, <clears throat> excuse me, then. But now there's just deep, deep waves of it. Truth's coming out. Truth's coming out. There's, there's fear. A lot of fear mongering is going on. And there's a lot of attacking, inner attacking, inner circle attacking. People are showing their true colors. People turning against each other. To get ahead. So... <clears throat> My 2020 predictions video that I did, you'll hear me talk about all of the, uh, you know, everything that's going on out there, right? How all the systems are being challenged by light. Okay, that's, that's a big part of what this coronavirus is doing. And You know, it's the government, the IRS, school systems, politics, religion, financial services, banking services, healthcare, right? All these things are all being challenged because of this third dimension to the fifth dimension shift. That's going to be happening for a long time. I told all of you that in 2020, 2021, expect a lot more extraterrestrial sightings. The introduction of the reality of these fifth dimensional beings out there and above especially the people that are in the fifth dimension way of frequency, the frequency of the fifth dimension, you're going to be able to start seeing more. Okay. I also said in that 2020 prediction video that there is a potential for all of this to come into manifestation in the physical world. But what I believe is that most, over 90% of all of this revelations, this whole fight between good and evil, to chase out the darkness is energetic, okay? It's a, a lot of my visions, a lot of my dreams were symbolic. Now, yes, this coronavirus is a huge thing. Like, okay, this is clearly an extremely physical manifestation. But this is a huge movement of light at this time. So we're talking the biggest movement of light ever. And that's what's surfacing a lot of the darkness. But that's what a lot of people are focusing on. And that's what I'm trying to eliminate here is the fear mongering. Okay, 
Thanks everybody for sharing this. I want this video to get out there to as many people as possible. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for um, the love and the support that I get. Because there's been a lot of darkness coming at me. But that's what happens during times like this. But it's about finding your center. Staying centered through this in the energy of love. All right, finding your truth. Now, this coronavirus, this pandemic thing, yes, it's bad, right? It could seem bad for the third dimensional view. But from the fifth dimensional view, this is the earth taking its power back and saying, you know what? I need to heal. But this is also, the earth isn't just going to attack us. It doesn't work that way. It's all in conjunction with our own spirituality as well. We're all going through this together. But this thing that's happening is bringing out healing to the planet. The ozone layer is repairing itself. There's less smog than probably ever before, right? Where's the chemtrails, right? Dolphins swimming in places that they, they've never swam before because the water's been too polluted. Um, I could go on and on and on about this, how people are, are coming together, like Little House on the Prairie style. Any of you remember that? Okay, so this is getting families in. Now it's also getting family. This is going to start getting ugly too in a good way because people are going to be faced to speak their truth. They're not going to be able to hide their feelings. They're not going to be able to sugarcoat it, right? <clears throat> so this is the most beautiful thing that's, ha that's happening really. And I know it's horrible, the deaths that are happening. But I know a lot of it's magnified as well through the media. Okay. But understand, the people that are dying are volunteers. They signed up for this. Think of the loving beings it takes to come to this earth and pl plan their out during this thing with, that we're experiencing. That's angels right there. Okay, that come into the physical body and that say that that take this on in order to shift the consciousness of humanity and the world and the earth. That's beautiful. Now, that being said, this fear mongering going on, all this stuff about all oh, the there's kids being saved, uh sex trafficking, the government's co collapsing, the IRS is collapsing, um, these famous actors are being called out, they're being arrested, uh, right? You guys know, know the, the hype. This is what I say. Where is it? Where's the proof? It's April 2nd, the internet's still on. There's been no blackouts. Right? This is supposed to be a 10-day period or something like that where there's all this stuff supposed to hit the fan. All these people are supposed to be taken down. And if this stuff happens and it becomes physical, then great. It's for the highest of good. Everything about this is for the highest of good. But when a lot of people ask me, Paul, what do you think about this, this, and this? I'm, th I'm just going day to day going, show me. The, show me the kids. Show me the actors in handcuffs. My IRS debt is still there. We're getting $1,200 checks. I know that. It's a little help, right? Yeah, there's corruptness. There's, there's all this stuff going on. But understand, this is going to take 20 to 30 years at least for this stuff to, to play out. 
you think light is just going to come in and just everything's going to crash and 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 be horrific no it's going to be a transition now everybody out there that's pushing this stuff this is going to happen you know q right there's there's thousands of podcasts out there that are that are saying look president trump look at this picture he's pointing and he happens to be pointing to something that that's symbolic to uh, satanism and or you know stuff like that there's people making livings doing that stuff okay where is it happening there's nothing more darker to me or one of the darkest things is mental and emotional manipulation preying off people's emotions making them feel like oh, this is great this is this this the great thing's gonna happen it's taken your focus away from what's really going on believe yourself believe what have your own view of what's going on Okay, so these thousands of podcasts are going on. I'm not saying all of them are wrong because, yep, I understand that, you know, the 5G stuff that's happening. Yeah, well, guess what? That 5G is going to come. And guess what? Everybody's going to continue on. You know, let's party like it's 1999. Remember that? The world was supposed to just go boom. It didn't. I remember when fiber optics first came out, I was doing tree work, clearing the trees away from the lower wires so that people could install the fiber optics. That was supposed to take everybody out. Then all through the different G's, right? 2, 3G, 4G, that was supposed to take everybody out. I'm not saying this 5G thing is good. I'm saying we're in for a ride. But it's going to take decades for this stuff to build up and to break down these people that are pushing this stuff the people that are making money that are fear-mongering that are uh pumping people up for something could be almost as dark or as dark as the th systems and the people that they're calling out. Yeah, yeah, and remember what I said, 10 times to 100 times magnification of everything that you hear. There has never been so much different stuff flying around. You can't, you do, who knows what to believe? You have to come in. That's why we're I isolating. We're isolating to snuff this out. But isolate to find yourself. Don't believe the stuff that you're, that you're putting out there. I'll tell you this. If I know something, it's channeling and it's spirituality. And I promise you this. Universal oneness does not warn through fear. Universal oneness does not spread fear. I'll tell you what's going on. There's a virus out there. We're going to snuff it out. People around the world have been brought together in an amazing way. And the systems are going to start to change. Not saying that it's not, there won't be big certain things that happen. If, if there are big arrests being made, then great. You know how many times I've been told things and, and pumped up about things like the great pumpkin? I use that reference a lot. All these great things were going to happen and they never happened. The great things that happened was in here. I hope I'm speaking to somebody relax take care of yourself focus on love 
and your immune system. If there's ever been a time to change your diet and take care of yourself, it's now. Boost up your immunity. If you're vibrating at a higher frequency, the frequency of love, this stuff will pass right under you. I call it, stay on top of the trees. Go back to my earliest videos, I use that. Blessings to everybody. Thank you. Love to all of you. Let it be done. And so it is done.